We cannot deny that in the past three years in America and around the world, unfortunately, we have seen what we have never seen before. We saw the effects of a global pandemic that killed millions. We saw the ruins of racial and social unrest destroying properties, families, dividing communities and fragmenting the church. We saw the damage of political discord where the donkey and the elephant temporarily succeeded in dividing what belongs to the lamb. Hmm. We witness and continue to bear witness to a cancel woke culture that insists in silencing everyone and everything that refuses to toe the line of a morally relativistic ideological worldview that runs counter to the word and spirit of God. Hmm. We saw, and this really irks me, we saw and continue to see a generation targeted by the architects of darkness with the message that there is no such thing as truth, as gender, as holiness, and personal responsibility. And I may get in trouble right here, but there it is. Can I just say something to every force, to every architect of darkness coming after our kids? Get your hands off our children in the name of Jesus. Get your hands off our children. Let a church rise up that has the audacity, the wherewithal, the anointing, the courage, the biblical substance to say, get your hands off our children. We saw the mess for the past few years. All we've seen is the mess. Turn on CNN, MSNBC, ABC, NBC, CBS, y de la mundo. <laughs> and you will see the mess. But what if I tell you that in your family, in your faith, in your generation, even in our nation, I know it's, it's not wishful thinking, it's not prophetic spaghetti on the wall, it's biblically substantiated. What if I, what if I tell you we are about to see the mess become a miracle? <laughs> 